Welcome to One Page Galaxy with atoms, gravity, and peg ideas. What if our current theories about atoms and gravity are wrong? Today, gravity is defined by these guesses. What does bent spacetime have to do with gravity? Atoms are defined by complex quantum guesses. What if this theory is crap? This video is about new aha ideas for these. First, let's understand about atoms. Atoms are made of positive protons, negative electrons, and no charge neutrons. Current theories say that it takes all these to make an atom. There are no explanations about where gluons and quarks magically come from. In this guess theory, neutrons don't do anything but take up space. What if this is crap? To see why, Let's look at a hydrogen atom. Hydrogen has one positive proton in the center. A negative electron pins around or orbits the proton center. We draw it like this. But this is the better comparison. If an atom is the size of a sports stadium, then a golf ball in the center is a proton. The electron is the size of a ballpoint pen tip. The far away, Fast electrons orbit around the proton center. By the way, most hydrogen atoms don't have any neutrons. Next, we need stars. Not movie stars, but sun stars. A neutral neutron has positive and negative parts caused by the superheat and pressure inside stars. A new aha idea is that the negative electron stops spinning and is pulled very close to the positive proton. Huge amounts of heat are given off inside our star that we will one day see as sunshine. To recap, the close packed positive and negative parts make a neutrally charged neutron. Wow, what do neutrons do? To recap, in a neutron, the positive proton and negative electron pull very close together. Here is the new AHA idea. This P and E attraction is what makes gravity. I call this the PEG idea. What does this all mean? Positive bits want to push apart. It is a neutron gravity that holds the positive protons together in the nucleus. Also, it is gravity that keeps electrons in orbit. Each atom only has a small amount of gravity, but the number of atoms is cosmically large. Think how many atoms are in our sun alone. How are bigger atoms made? To recap, we see how H atoms join to make helium atoms. Bigger atoms of the other elements are made the same way. That is, hydrogen and helium join together with more neutrons to make lithium atoms. It has three positive parts held together with neutrons circled by three electrons. Over time, the same process repeats inside stars to make elements up to iron. Elements above iron are made when old stars explode. Iron can make magnets. So just what is magnetism? Magnets have two sides called poles. Some poles push apart. Different poles pull together. Currently, there is not a clear theory on how magnets work. Here is my idea. Neutrons have three things. P, E, and G. Aligned neutrons make magnets. In magnets, the negative sides of neutrons all face north. Their positive sides all face south. Magnets are just lined up neutrons. What does this have to do with gravity? We start when electricity flows in a wire. With iron bits, we can see a right angle field. The old theory is that this is a magnetic field. A new aha idea is that magnetism is really gravity. To recap, the positive proton and negative electron pull together. This attraction is gravity. Here is the next aha idea. Gravity field spins. Gravity is a circle shaped field around neutrons. It is why nano electrons spin around the nucleus. This is why the moon orbits the Earth too. 
It is also why planets orbit our sun and other suns. What if intense gravity from the black hole in the center of the Milky Way makes our galaxy spiral spin? Next are electromagnetic EM waves. Today, our radios, smartphones, and lights all work because of something called electromagnetic or EM waves. The old theory guesses that EM waves are made by wavy bits of electric fields with bits of bright angle magnetic fields. What if this old idea is incomplete? Here is the new earth-shaking theory. EM waves are actually peg waves. That is, these new peg waves are actually made of a positive bit, a negative bit, and a bit of gravity in between. A peg sandwich. Let's call them peg waves because they are wavy, positive bits opposite to negative electric bits with gravity in between. This is an amazing new aha idea. To recap, the whole atom shakes to give off peg waves. So, shaking atoms emit peg wave spectrum. Today, we have radios, cell phones, lights, and Wi-Fi because of peg waves. What else is PEG useful for? What if PEG could help us make power? Today, it takes lots of energy to make electricity. Lots of pollution and nuclear waste is given off too. What if we understand and apply these new PEG ideas, we can figure out new ways to make cleaner and cheaper electricity. Let's share easier ways to make and store electric power. This will power machines and energize free internet education. Wow! Also, think how much energy is needed and pollution made by the current ways we power our cars, planes, and rockets. What if we use PEG to power all these? Current moon rockets use 96% of their weight just to get it off the Earth. Surely, we can make more efficient PEG-powered rockets for our space quest. Also, can we fix another urgent Earth problem too? We live in an age where atomic weapons can wipe out cities. What if, with PEG ideas, we create antidote cures to neutralize nukes? Nukes have a critical mass of unstable atoms. Fast-moving neutrons from broken atoms go on to break up more atoms in a chain reaction explosion. Maybe the PEG idea will help us find ways to stop destructive neurotic neutrons, similar to how special rods control nuke power plants. With PEG, can we free humanity from the fear of nukes? To close, simply said, maybe atoms are just three parts, protons, electrons, and gravity. New PEG ideas define neutrons, simplify gravity, and explain EM waves. They help us understand atoms and connect to the swirling cosmos. Shaking atoms make peg waves that enable our electronics and global communications. What if we learn how to harness peg power? We replace all the inefficient, dirty ways we make power today. Imagine tomorrow, where lighter cars will fly. New airplanes will pollute less. More efficient rocket power enables human suburbs in space. Believe! Together, we can find a fix to the end of days atom bombs that we live under today. Here is a challenge. Use scientific method to prove or not the new PEG ideas. What are we waiting for? See the catalog for more Alfred books. Printed copies are also available on Amazon. Over 3 million free Alfred ebooks and videos have been downloaded 